Hello, my name's Joel, and I'm part of the piano faculty here at Sage Music. In this video, we're going to go through a quick tutorial on good posture at sitting at the piano, as well as a great first exercise or warm-up to get those fingers ready to play on the keys. Come on over and let's take a look. To start off, let's begin by making sure our posture is correct. Good posture while playing the piano enables us to utilize our whole upper body appropriately which will go a long way in helping us play on the keys correctly and with ease. Let's make sure our backs are not slouched forward or straightened too much. We'll want to make sure our shoulders are relaxed as well. Next, we'll focus on the elbows and forearms. Our elbows should be comfortably tucked into our lower rib cage or upper abdomen. With the elbows in place, We'll lift up the forearms until they are parallel to the keys on the piano. This is a good time to make sure our seat is an appropriate height. We'll know if it is or isn't by seeing if our wrists are directly in front of our elbows when we extend our forearms. If our wrists are above our elbows, then we are sitting too low. And if our wrists are below the level of our elbows, then we are sitting too high. Now that we have our posture checked, let's move on to where the action is. The hands. Here's a great beginning exercise to get started on playing on the piano. To start off, let's put each of our fingers in both hands over one of the white keys so that each finger is over its own white key. Once we have the fingers in position, we'll begin by lifting the thumbs high and then dropping them into the piano key. We want to drop them in hard enough to create a tone. Afterwards, we'll move to the index fingers and repeat the same motion. We'll do this with all the fingers until we get to the pinkies. Let's see what that looks like. From this point, we're going to reverse the order. So we'll start with the pinkies, then the ring fingers, and so on until we get back to our thumbs. After we've done this about three times, we're going to work on our speed and agility. To do this, we'll repeat the same process as before, but at a faster rate. Feel free to try along with the speeds I chose, or try it at a pace that's comfortable for you. Make sure that as you increase speed, each finger is able to play its note distinctly, so we'll want to avoid playing more than one finger at the same time. Here's an example of what that looks and sounds like. 